John really is, you know, the outsider, yet <clears throat> John is Wesley's right-hand man. He's, he's been there actually before Wesley when, when uh, Wesley's father was running the company. They hired John. John's probably one of those guys that, you know, have an MBA from Princeton. Uh, he might even have a law degree, and they bring, in, they bring these young guys into these companies, and, you know, they try to turn them around or at least, you know, try to give them new ideas on how to run the company. And so, you know, Wesley's trusted John, uh, and, and rightfully so, I think John's earned Wesley's trust um, as being a right-hand person for this company. Well, Brian's bringing a lot of colors to his character. Um, there, I mean, there's a lot of things going on on why he is troubled. I mean, it's just not, I mean, sometimes you get these characters that are written um, and you think, oh, it's going to be very black and white. Um, and he's got so many shades of gray in, in, in the way he's playing things. He, uh, you know, there's a lot of hurt sometimes uh, within his character. Um, there's a lot of, uh, obviously, animosity. There's a lot of anger. Um, and then there's love too that he has um, so I, I find that all you know for him very interesting for his character Rebecca is great actually she's very funny um, you know we we haven't really gotten to work together yet um, we've said hello to each other um, but you know what's nice is you know I have I have two kids she has two young kids and, and we play a family that has two young kids so I mean we already we, we've got that down so we don't really have to worry much about that. And uh, so she's very motherly and, and, and I think she's gonna play, well, I think she does play uh, just a great confidant uh, for Gabrielle's character, which is, which, which is nice to have. It's been an uh, unbelievable experience working with uh, Tyler Perry. I mean, this is my first film with him. Um, everyone else, you know, that I've talked to that has worked with him says, you know, he knows what he's doing, he's very quick and he, you know, and methodical and knows what he wants to get and gets it and moves on and my experience has been exactly that I mean to me it's, it's, it's kind of amazing that you know not only is he the writer director but he's also starring you know in the film and I don't know how he keeps it all together but he does and it's uh, it's been great wonderful experience what struck me when I first read this script what I liked was um, just the message of how somebody can kind of walk through life, um, living their life with everybody else's expectations and just trying to please everybody else. Uh, and you know, me for one, I, I, could, I could see how easily someone can do that. And it's about having the courage to actually say, wait a second, step back and say, you know what, I've pleased everybody enough. Now it's time to figure out what I want you know, in, in life and what's important to me, what's in my heart, and to have the courage to follow that. Uh, a lot of people will say, you know what, I wish I could, I wish I could do this, or I wish I could do, do this, I wish I wasn't in this line of work. Um, and, and to have the courage to stop and follow your dream, your own dream, um, says a lot about a person. Well, simply put, I think the message of this film is, you know, follow your heart. Um, like I said, you know, it's easier to please everybody else sometimes than it is to please yourself. Uh, I think you should, you know, think twice about that and you know think about what you want in life uh, rather than what other people expect you to have in life